Yesterday I was I was fapping to some Why are we even up in this ungodly hour? We were fapping I am I was fapping to some Because Bangladesh electricity because timetable I was I was current line I was fapping to some hentai and I thought wow we need to review firewatch মানে এতক্ষণ কাইটা এসে এই কথাটাই আসবে সবাই জানতে চাই নাম কি ছিল Yeah, so it's a game where you walk around a park, climbing things and finding, finding things. Uh, it's mostly a walking simulator, you could say. Uh, there, there are some gameplay uh, mechanics, but there is no actual fail estate. You can't actually die. So, yeah. It's mostly a lot of similar as it's considered. Mm. What makes it interesting is the premise of the game is that you are a guy, as usual, you are a guy. Uh, basically, you are in a situation that is not the best. You are going through a rough time in your life right now. You could say it's a midlife crisis. There's a lot of things going wrong. So one day you wake up, find a job in a fire camp, uh, as a fire watch, at a uh, park ranch, right? Uh, so you take that job and you go away from the city to this park. And there you meet your boss, your character, another character. And well, you, you don't actually meet anyone. Well, you know, talking through a radio, that kind of, you know. Uh, so, you make this, uh, not really made, but just start talking to your boss and other characters and you start doing your duty as a fire watch. And then some you know mysterious things happen you start investigating them you find out that maybe somebody is following you intercepting your communications and some some strange shit happens some That's really so shady like stuff is going on in the park there are places fenced off and you can't figure out why and there are people following you vandalizing your uh fire watch tower and the game basically is just going through the days exploring the uh park trying to figure out the mystery and all that and i think like i've covered the overall premise so why how did you actually feel about the game 
আচ্ছা সো দ্য গেম এজ আবরার মেনশন ইজ সোর্ট অফ আ ওয়াকিং সিমুলেটর ওয়াট দ্যাট মিন্স ইজ ইউ গো থ্রু আ ফিউ সেট পিসেস মানে দের ইজ নট রিয়েলি মাচ ভ্যারিয়েশন ইন টার্মস অফ গেম প্লে সেট পিসেস আছে কিছু and you like gradually go through the market that's the game there isn't really much or any variation going on i mean Think. okay can i just intercept for a second yeah hmm. uh, i mean there is variation in the dialogue right uh in the sequence of the dialogue that's how i don't get it also if you find some stuff মানে ওই যে লাইক এক্সপ্লোর করতে করতে ইফ ইউ ফাইন্ড সার্টেন স্টাফ তাহলে দেয়ার ইজ লাইনস অফ ডায়ালগ দ্যাট আর আনলকড এর বেশি কিছু নাই সো ইয়া থিং অ্যাবাউট গেমস লাইক দিস আর মানে রিসেন্টলি রিসেন্টলি না গত 5 বছর ধরে এই দে ওয়েন্ট থ্রু আ ওয়াট ফর ইউ আ বেল কার্ভ অফ পপুলারিটি যে মাঝখানে দে ব্লু আপ মাঝখানে দে ব্লু আপ আ লট এখন আবার মানুষজন বুঝতেছে যে এই টাইপের গেমের ডেপথ নাই ইউজুয়ালি ডেপথ থাকে না হ্যাঁ মানে থাকে বাট মানে ইটস ডিফিকাল্ট টু ফাইন্ড দ্য গেমস উইথ অ্যাকচুয়াল ডেপথ বিকজ ওয়েল দে আর নট রিয়েলি গেমস পার্সেন এন্ড আই আই অ্যাপসলুটলি ডু নট লাইক দিস টাইপস অফ গেমস ঠিক আছে Mm-hmm. I I started with Firewatch. I thought I liked them. I tried to play two or three more. Hated all of them. But yeah, like I tried to play uh Bully Gone Home as a Gone Home should Gone Home and mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. sure. That's a shit game. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh I can't. Ekta ase What Remains of Edith Finch. Yeah. Oita Oita like when i hear out hear me out i don't think that should be a game what i i yeah i think that should be a, a series or a movie or something i don't think the game format does it any favors ah uh, okay sure we can argue about that later uh, i couldn't connect okay theek ache did you finish it by the way na nah. দরজায় যে একটা জিনিস পায় মনে আছে নাকি বলবো একটা পি ফোল পায় যে ওই পর্যন্ত হ্যাঁ ওই পর্যন্ত কি ইম্প্যাক্ট it really is that man you really aren't but there's no room for i would say there's no room for which uh, discovery in that sense you're not doing anything differently than the creators would want you to do eh yeah. uh, like acta game as for example uh, the return of obradin the ship eh yeah ita amar bhal lagena it looks stunning yeah, and it's kind of we can a kind of variation as so in the sense je kon clue ta kon tar pore pawa but how you connect them that's kind of like yeah, to one yeah but that's mostly a mis- uh, like uh, that's a detective history over hmm. over there and hmm. i wouldn't even call that a working simulator that's an actual like that's a full complete different genre of game it doesn't mm. really work as a i don't call that a, because uh, the gameplay mechanic in that is actually figuring out how the sequence of things are you know going puzzle out. puzzle puzzle it's a puzzle puzzle yes. puzzle light not yeah. even exactly acha oi dikan na jai fire watch a thake 
বাইরেই হইতেছে ফরেস্ট হ্যাঁ হিজ জব ইস টু লুক আউট ফর ওয়াইল্ড ফায়ার আনকন্ট্রোল ওয়াইল্ড ফায়ার and report it and this gets addressed for it the or duty and what happens when he does notice a wildfire and there the game is completely devoid of any life besides you except for wildlife yeah the only other person you communicate with is delila your superior over the radio that is entirely over the radio except maybe the ending but not really but i'm not gonna mm-hmm. uh, spoil na kori yeah. ending ni oneker problem ase amar nai but oneker problem ase yeah. so um, the game is sort of man it plays itself man kono there's not really a challenge kono there is challenge, challenge in you know প্রথম যখন ইউ গেট টু দা টাওয়ার ইউ গেট টু সি আর আমি আমি হয়ে গেছিলাম কি দেখলাম সামথিং <laughs> 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 ছবিটার থিম হচ্ছে ওই রকম একটা এলিয়েন দাঁড়ায় আছে ওয়াচ টাওয়ার ওয়াচ টাওয়ারের নিচে দুইজন দাঁড়ায় তাকায় আছে হ্যাঁ হালকা আলোতে তাকায় আছে সো এইটার আর্ট স্টাইল রিমাইন্ডস মি আট অফ দ্যাট আমি আমি ডিসকোয়ার্ডা পাঠাই ছবিটা দেখলে বুঝবে আচ্ছা আদার দেন দ্যাট ওয়াট গ্র্যাবস মাই অ্যাটেনশন ইন দিস গেম ইজ But the story obviously story to like the story is the focus here story charman the purpose is telling the story okay. mm, and there's not really much to discuss about the game itself because you know, more accomplished people than i have tried and tested the formula it's a nice nice game i guess if you can if you want to call it that i don't judge you can call it a game or something else mm-hmm. mm. what really gets me about this is mm, the psychology in psychology bola thik hobe kina i was and i'm just i don't know how to phrase this okay the feeling this gives you it's very personal mm. and uh, it's like coping with yourself and your surroundings i'll just take you through my 
my my perspective when i was playing this game yeah it was jokhon man i'm jokhon khelto chilam i was probably it was probably is admission test for it okay yeah. so i was obviously ha- happy to i mean to uplift it chilam but a recurring pattern throughout my life man i mean, i i think a recurring a recurring pattern throughout my life is my life is sort of a bell curve in terms of happiness and sorrow yeah. i think this kind of becomes a self fulfilling pro- prophecy at times in that every time i i get to do something that makes me happy uh, i always anticipate a, a, a large amount of sorrow in a, in return and, uh, for example aske burger khelam kalke mai khete hobe erokom ekta jinish ache Okay. That that is actually a typical human behavior. Aajke kisu bhalo hoyle kalke kisu kharab hobe. Ta mane that's how we all think. Just I wouldn't say you think of it as as deeply as large na eto large scale ba eto deeply na but then again we all think the same. Also that Even, does end up happening you know I mean to my case. Yeah that know? that does end up happening. Eta ami bolu. So might be a self fulfilling prophecy i don't know so oi to one i was pretty happy when i was playing this game but you know the game's pretty melancholy theek ache hmm one happy hoyle theek bujha jabe na onek aspects of the game i'm not saying you need to be a depressed e boy but you need to be emotionally aware while playing this game yeah and well, you're a depressed e boy Okay, insult acknowledged and rebuffed. So, oi to one. I'm to kill the silam, balak the silo. One. It starts out as a very simple one. Throughout the game, there is a sense of impending danger. Okay, sir. And one. You are always expecting some big reveal, some big mystery thing. फरे the only source of communication is with someone he'll probably never get to meet yeah. it's it's a very melancholy experience and what i felt during playing this is the bad things end up happening to the best of us yeah. Yeah. i was going to, i was i was under the impression that ekhono ekhono i try to reinforce the thought that we are responsible for most of the stuff that ends up happening to us and to me at least i try to take responsibility to take control over the things that make me sad or the things that make me happy yeah man the human tendency is to like take credit for the good stuff and ignore the bad stuff like the bad stuff is man uh, it's someone else's say. fault wait exactly yeah so and what we reap is what man mm-hmm. what we reap is what so you so will you reap eight type of thing yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah so this game like gave me the sense that bad things happen to the best of people ha huh? no one involved none of the characters involved in this game are like you would say objectively bad people. but they all go through stuff that's not really um, they all make wholesome. mistakes they all make mistakes terrible ones uh, terrible mistakes uh, the far like really protagonist what hmm. what what could he have done no ex- except the protagonist i'm not talking about everyone just that one specific case you know the one yeah yes yes 
yeah, when I, even Delilah, even Delilah makes some when a questionable decisions throughout the game. Mm, yeah. yeah. And when I, this game is a really good way of dealing with your feelings. When I, things will happen in your life that are not really conducive to your happiness. But they might be conducive to your growth if you let them. Yeah. Growth becomes the point of life. Emotional growth and, well, development in general. Yeah, and does, does the main character actually learn that though? I would say he was, he was very, that thought was embedded in him to begin with. Yeah. Otherwise, a type of manus cheta hoya jay depressed hoya, drunk hoya manne. You know, like the parallels have been pulled. Thikha sir. I mean, he a, was an alcoholic. Hmm. But did he? But did it overcome him? Did did the tendency overcome the person? Because if it did, he wouldn't have been able to do his duty. Thikha sir. Yes. Sure. He invests in positive growth. Unlike the parallel that has been put throughout the game. Yeah, you, you, you lose something valuable, you reinvest in yourself, try to outgrow it, try to... On the, on the bad things that happen will never leave you. Yeah, something bad happens to you, you will always carry it with you. You There's can't no get stuck in that mindset. Is what you exactly. Mm -hmm. You can't let it end up carrying you. You have to carry it. and You can't let the negative stuff overcome you. You have to overcome it. and mm -hmm. Keep it in your rear view mirror, but keep going forward. That's the theme. Yeah. And since I mentioned that I was happy at the time, I was playing this. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't really have enjoyed it as much as I should have. As much as I have. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I did. Why? Because because it reminded me to keep things grounded. Uh -huh. yeah, well, and f with good reason. Because... Mm, yeah. I kind of lose words when I'm... This is emotion talk. I'm not good at this. Yeah, uh, explaining emotion can be hard. Um, I, yeah, so... I personally had an interesting observation to make about the character. Hmm. Well, once again, like, the thing about talking about art for me personally is when I try to talk about the merits of the art or something I feel about art, and this is a tangent, but I just want to put this out there. Mm. I'm not exactly, I'm not just talking about the art, but I'm actually talking about myself through the art. I'm mm. never actually talking about the art. And I think that's how people should actually experience and, you know, discuss art as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, um, like the, there were two things that I was really worried about when getting into this game. One was this idea that the protagonist was going to try to um, fall in love again, you know? I was really worried about that and by the middle of the game, I was really worried about the idea that what if at the end of the game everything turns out to be a dream? <laughs> Which they could have done, they really could have done, they didn't. Thank you. But the thing about the first one, and here's something that really surprised me at the end that there was a conflict between me and the protagonist. What I wanted for the character to go through was not, like the choices I made, I did not expect 
the main character to react to the voice he did because as I was under the um, assumption that he and I was on the same wavelength we are going to um, react this react in a similar way but when the ending happens and Henry the main character doesn't get something he really really wants and he just kind of breaks down slightly he really like he asks like how am I supposed to you don't know how it is he says that and that really surprised me because I like I did not expect him to feel that way I was not considering the things that Henry was actually going through I was somehow preoccupied with my own perceived failings like there, uh, there are things I have done in the past that I regret and this was somehow an opportunity to not make the same mistake again yeah. and yeah. that kind of really messed me up at, at the ending ah well that's not what Henry wanted that's what I wanted but oh and that was interesting too no? That really so, made me feel like the whole game was actually worth it, like that conflict, because you don't really know if you, what the player is one, player wants, is the same thing as the, what the character wants. It's a very, it it's a very character driven game actually. Hmm? It is a character driven game though, only. you play the character, the character I doesn't give do, you. I but, you know, I... I was so focused on like doing the thing that I wanted, I completely forgot to actually role play the character. I actually forgot hmm. to get into the character itself. Yeah, so we take who worked a loss I know because there isn't much role playing to do. Hmm? There isn't much role playing to do so basically a loss I think. I mean we take what I think actually love with I think. It was a yeah, more interesting wait, wait, experience. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, uh, uh, if we are going to like recommend this game, I would say do whatever you feel is right. I, I would I would say do whatever man. Just go in and don't expect anything. Any expectation thakla subvert hai jo. Oh yeah, uh, I actually like that. Like everything has Which a really a simple A lot of people you know? don't respond well to that. A lot of people don't respond well to that. Yeah. You can see by the ending. I don't have an issue with the ending. I assume neither do you. No. But the but the vast majority of people have an issue with the ending. While Mane, if you were paying attention you would realize that the ending is perfectly in line with the rest of the game. Actually. Like ultimately the game is about accepting your situation and trying to deal with it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was getting at, Jay. Yeah. The enough. things you expect out of life don't always end up happening the way you expect them to happen. Life throws some curveballs at you. And, um, and it is ultra relatable in that way. Hmm. The very the very unique situation the Firewatch dude finds himself in is actually much closer to you than you think. Uh, much 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 more similar to your real life situation than you might think at first glance. Also, another way to look at the game is uh, that it's like it is like what it is, the, what the actual character is going through, that is what the game actually is. It's a 3 to 6 hours of break from the from your real life problems to explore a camp trend and see a fictional story. In that sense, the character and players like experience kind of you know, mirrors. 
and what i'd like to state that is the game actually messed me up it too okay sir i i mentioned that i was pretty happy going into the game and mm-hmm. i came out pretty melancholic actually i i came out pretty confused uh, not uh, not about the game about myself actually about where i am and where i will end up and how i will deal with it where i end up doesn't really matter how i'll deal with it is what happens and it's what ends up mattering and even today uh, i i i have faced many problems and i'm still going through the motions of how to deal with them because okay, Mm. i don't i don't and something needs to be made clear that henry is a actually a very good guy he is a he is a decent person and not necessarily all of us are decent people for example i i don't think i am a decent person as a, at all i don't think i am a good friend i don't think i am a good anything Actually, to I, be i i have a question we can yeah please what makes a decent person do Mm, this just is all just a right and wrong and everything is just a human Ra- right and wrong er perspective but the other there's a lot of things that can dictate your moral compass okay sir for example you, for example um, how you make people feel yeah be empathetic 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 whatever that word no no you can be the most morally man your moral compass can always point north theek ache but you can end up hurting people in ways a psychopath could not hurt them yeah and wow so yeah it is possible actually <laughs> yeah uh, it can affect both us hmm? but being like ki bolo being a decent person a nice guy like then again what's the point people Ata, like uh, that end up getting hurt the most approaching <laughs> due to recent experiences i approach all social situations with the with a bit of apprehension in that i always bet on myself to fuck up yeah, which is why when that keeps me on my toes yeah when it keeps me alert even now i'm i'm probably filtering out more things than i, I am want to spewing theek ache there's a lot of things i like it might sound inconsistent the filtering out stuff not saying what you actually feel but you know you need to be at peace with yourself man so uh, whatever helps okay. i i am in the process of figuring it out and ekta khubi crude parallel hobe have any of you watched house house md আছে he is far from a good guy when yeah. ignore his ignore his completely apparent stuff on the stuff he does the way he insults people every other sentence we will ignore koira he is not a decent guy yeah. that 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 goes to prove that one aspect of your personality cannot end up defining you yeah. there is always stuff that people will because you are not a one dimensional person everyone's a three dimensional person yeah ekta dimension onek bhalo hilo i don't think there's always room for mistakes and there's always room for 
respect to conditions. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so recently I've alienated a lot of people and I, I, I still think what I could have done differently. And I wait, keep uh, wait, wait. Okay. We're gonna have a talk later. Yeah, where we need to have a talk again. So I keep feeling like a game like this experienced for the first time would really help me right now. Yeah, to put things into perspective. A game or a TV show, something, something to relate to. Yeah. Mm. And this might end up being that thing for someone who ends up playing it for the first time. I mean, it's a very good way of, because it's a very experiential thing, it, it made me feel like the, the void of things to do in it. You just walk, a walking simulator. You just walk and you respond to stimuli. Like that void of things to do really, forces you to find meaning in things that are apparently not meaningful. Because you remember when you find the camera? Mm, yeah. And the camera is like could be limited amount of films. You can take a very limited number of pictures. Around 18 or 19. Yeah. I think. Mm. 18 or 19 after you deduct the photos you have to take in story. Story the story the progress for a certain amount of photos like it. Of course, I mean, just course, I mean, just story follow for it. I remember which actor point as you 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 start playing at the top of a hill, you just stand up and Kosajani Jaitaval, I mean, Konodika Nagi, I'm just good to see them and show you the same. Yeah, man. That's a man. that point in time was very personally. Um, what do you call it? Significant, personally significant for me. Yeah. I mean, we can. I'm probably do it in the same game. Not too much. It's chobi to illa. Chobi ekta filmo baki nai. I mean, I'm progress with the. Yeah. I mean, erokom do ita see failer moto not too much. But. Yeah, that I ended up doing that and then going back to the game. And you remember at some point you find an man could be open at a jaga power majekta gach. She said the Yeah. Which a quakta genius take a remnant saga that shouldn't be where they are. This game has a lot of beautiful set pieces, take us Yeah on point set pieces and it has an ending that will make you feel very strongly about it. There's no Just don't expect certain things. <laughs> it, 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 there's no middle ground. This is it will make you feel either very black or very white. Was that racist? Sorry. No, that's not racist. Sorry, sorry. That's not what I but, mean. But saying, it, was it racist, makes it racist. So, yeah, basically. It sounds, it sounds racist, but that's not what yeah, I Yeah, don't mean. say, yeah. if you think something sounds racist, just go with it, don't say it out loud. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, just don't point it out. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So, okay, so, so yeah, and when the, it's a very nuanced ending, because it's, it's not what you expect, but it's very nuanced. Yeah. And it doesn't leave you wanting more if you get what it's about. It's a very complete ending. What happens next is not really the point. Yeah. And it's a surprisingly well made game, all things considered, that. I, I'd say everyone needs to play at least once. You, you should give it a try. Because uh, the opening is very effective actually. In creating, you know, like actually making you empath empathize with the main character. Yeah, and the constant, the constant 
threat, the looming threat of some sort of grand mystery, it's very conducive to the environment. Mm -hmm. and it, it ends up getting addressed in a way you probably don't expect it, but that's sort of the point about this game. Yeah, that's all I had to say at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So that was very much. Um, so, our next topic is an achha, album. You guys should, achha, 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 I get to, you guys should read to take, take some, take fire, take a two minute rest, I guess. <laughs> that was intense. There was a reason I really wanted to talk about this one. Is there anything you missed? Hmm? No. Is there anything we missed? No. We probably I did. Onek, 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 yeah, act again. Man, we probably Rather missed. Rather than missing, I guess you guys filtered out a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, of That's course. course. <laughs> <laughs> missing <laughs> would be the wrong word. Sheshaven, okay? Maybe in the future, Arik Bar, let's revisit this. I don't know. Ah. No, it's no. revisit korar ki sunai. Exactly, that's kind of the point. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> next topic. <laughs> so, so Rafi, you want to start? Uh, yes, sure, why not? So, OJ and Awesome Wave. So basically, an Awesome Wave came out back in 2012, and this is their debut album. And again, OJ had quite a few singles that are included in this album. And before I continue, I'd like you to know that OJ is an indie band. And I'm confused about the genre. Alt pop, apparently. Alternative pop. Alt pop, experimental. Rock. It's just weird. Amarjuno, it's just weird, but I enjoy their genre pretty well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, so. Ikhane, I don't have much to say about the whole album because the album itself is not a story but a collection of story. You can consider this as an anthology of sorts. Say, Breeze Blocks tells one kind of story. Fitz pleasure is I don't know what it is, <laughs> and then there is tarot. Like I have no idea what Fitz pleasure is. They just moan, I think. So, so I mean, to start to tell you that I mean, they they used me as a guinea pig for this one. Okay, yeah. sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, Asta Singh, I would have said. Yeah, so I mean, I I'll just hijack. You can think. Yeah, they, they used me as a guinea pig. But to show us it, I Yes, yes, thoroughly. Many times. Wow. Yeah, so, okay. When I was able to get a lot of money, I was able to get a lot Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. I know, I know, I know. Asha, wait. Uh, okay. Remember the game we played last episode where Wahid says, Where yeah, we can We can do that. We can do that. Take two for the Ashish. Yeah. I can boil an age why they used me as a guinea pig because I have mentioned Jamar as a pretentious vocals. Of Allah. Yeah. Hmm. But he had a pretentious and vocals now or vocal amun. Uh, I don't think anyone can have a vocal like that <laughs> unless they're trying really hard. But yeah, it's so not even if you're trying really hard, it, it better just naturally parts it. It's it's indie vocals, okay? So indie vocal is not coming. Indie vocals, yeah. So all indie vocal I want find. Tami Pala, I know. Tami Pala, it's a very bad example. Hey, guys, Tami Pala. No, no, no. What is it? What is vocal? Sir, Tami Pala, like. Yes. Pure voice manipulation, guys. And he is not indie anymore. Yeah, I want to mainstream. I want to share that. Don't forget me. Unless we know the other. Ganta Bhalo, chill, guys. So this. Nostrovera, I don't know. It's another discussion. It's 
understand this is anti deja vu yes sir it is the deja vu was intentional this is also intentional everything has a purpose like i said deja vu is a nothing album right like so nice this is anti this is like every song has something yeah. it this is Mod- like compact modde je ekta mane instrumental ache je ekta break de je ইংলিশ তুই একটা জিনিস বল বিফোর এনিথিং লেট স্টার্ট অফ উইথ ব্রিজ ব্লকস ওয়াহিদ আগে বল যে কি বুঝলি ব্রিজ ব্লকস থেকে আপনি কেন এক্সপ্লেইন দা স্টোরি স্টোরি এখন শুনবো আমি বিকজ এটা স্টোরি আমি দেখি নি আই देयर আর গ্র্যান্ডার ইউ শুনছস বাট এটা স্টোরি বুঝস না আই আন্ডারস্টুড देयर আর গ্র্যান্ডার স্টোরিজ টু টেল আফটার আই থিং ট্র্যাক 5 অর সামথিং ঠিক আছে Uh, so, are you talking about the video or the song? Because uh, it's a total different story, right? I mean, no, I don't know if I video the image. Yes, yeah, please. No, nah, actually the video goes well with the issue. I mean, it does, it does. The video plays in reverse, Naki, if, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the video plays in reverse. Uh, yeah, video like, plays in reverse, but meaning to say... Oh, mm, no, like... Okay, the meaning is kind of same, but... um the um like the characters are kind of flip like in the lyrics of breeze blocks it's a male character going crazy and in the video it's a female character going crazy mm. no and somehow the song kind of works with both it actually works out so yeah i was actually at, at up to this point i was thinking about from the song's perspective where the guy is crazy mm. but now that you have mentioned it oh okay yeah, yeah. so acha ekhan theke ekta jishi bola jay it could work out because both of them are crazy it's just a crazy crazy acha uh, combination and they both go nuts and this shit happens I just realized something Taror Shesha na ki 5 minute silencer pore ekta vocal cue ase Yeah tar pore arekta gaan ase And amar amar kache eta chilo na Ota shudhu ni by me edition I think Mane egula to thik na bhai egula gaane o DLC da shuru korlo to somoshya Shit ভোকালি they are weird anyways if they wanted to let you understand what they're talking about they should have spoken in a clear manner thik ache ei bhabe mane 
বইরে বিয়ই বলার কোনো কারণ নেই শুরুতে প্রথম দুইটা গান ইজ স্টপ তারপরে আমি আবার মানে হারাই গেছি বিকজ ইয়া মানে ভাই ইন্টেনশনালি এরকম সাউন্ড করার কি দরকার তাই না Okay. If you're trying to convey a message, please do it properly. In a way I can understand, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, which, is, which sounds very selfish, but okay. I went to track 6, something good, which is eight or lyrics, so I was like, yeah, good. That for a dissolve. Feats pleasure, it all just broke down because I'm just one, it's a key. I'll take a second about this. Um, the book basically got uh, banned in England for obscenity. Oh, it yeah. basically got uh, put on trial and then banned. The book yeah. basically follows uh, six different uh, stories about uh, lower, lower class people in Brooklyn city and really terrible shit happens. Just, just terrible shit. Nothing good, just terrible. I can't even say the things that happens. So that's the inspiration this song takes and you can guess why it sounds like that. Like the character this song is following actually gets, um, I can't actually say that. I, I shouldn't say that. So, anyway. Go ahead. Type for type for this code. Ah, what is it? What is it? আমি এখানে <laughs> 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 is the character yeah man okay whatever man okay sorry uh, yeah, next erpore uh, mane let's just give fritz fritz pleasure and i'll just leave it to the listeners that if you're into it listen to it get into the short story and find out what we just find out because some certain things that like to censor out 
সেন্সর আউট কি এটা তো জাস্ট আমি বলতে চাইতাছি না इट्स जस्ट আমি जस्ट বলতে চাইতাছি না কেউই বলতে চাইতাছে না দিস ইজ জাস্ট অ্যান আনপ্লেজেন্ট থিং টু সিং अबाउट আই গেস আই গেস देयर आर सम आर्टिस्ट এখানে একটা জিনিস চিন্তা করে ওরা যা যা বলছে ইভেন ট্যারো কিন্তু আনপ্লেজেন্ট টু সিং अबाउट इट्स नॉट सम ট্যারো না না ট্যারো ট্যারো লাকি সং না কিন্তু এটা ভাই ট্যারো ডার্ক একটা সং ঠিক আছে ট্যারো ডার্ক ভালোলাম invoking some sort of emotion it's okay? tragic it's a tragic story about a cast of ha oi ta pore ashi ekhane ekhane ekta kahini ache ekta kahini na na oi tai pore ashi age gaan tar kotha bolte gaan tar first to gaan shunchi the lyrics are very invocative na ki jani koy evocative yeah sure yeah evocative ha yeah. so shuina i'm like yeah this has something more to it so i looked it up and taro is a she's a photographer on the war time photographer taro and kappa so there's a story regarding them that abrar can explain in great detail and i just want to say ekhane aisha i i was completely sold this is a this is a great album thik ache it's one of the great albums in terms of subject matter but that's what i felt ekhon feet pleasure er kotha shuina I I need to go over this I am going to think about it after all Tarot explain explain uh, Tarot Tarot and the album don't just the album uh, the album is pretty straight forward it's it as a whole has nothing but as individual songs it's a compilation of individual stories it's a like a book containing short stories yeah that's it so mm. As a whole, it is nothing. It's an anthology, short story, book. Jeta hi bolos na. Figures. Um. So the album mostly consists. Acha acha. Ek to ek to ek to ek to ek to. Uh. I I man the the what do you call it the the guinea pigs the guinea pigs perspective is that this is a successful experiment. Amar amar bhal laksa. রিলেশনশিপ uh there is one about love triangle this third song and what's interesting is a lot of these songs are actually about specific books or movies that the band members actually like like there are references to characters or movie scenes or etc you know that is cool indeed hmm <coughs> or people in general and people in general hey. in some cases the like in taro it's about specific real life events then in good uh, good 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 which monkey something good yeah uh, something good is about an actual uh, real incident where a uh, matador gets killed which is actually a metaphor about something else but you can read into it i before i get into taro if there is one thing i don't exactly like about this album it's it's the drums i just oh, wow. i don't know i don't know like the drum work in this whole album really kind of like that the snare it sounds tweet, tweet, really tweet, 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 i do not like that what just hum anyway that's the whole album has so much to offer and you're complaining about drums Yeah, exactly. Yes, there, Be- there, because there, there is room to complain thing. about. Because, uh, no, look. He, he if there is something that's going to stand out to me, I'm going to 
सबके बन सकता है Um, okay. Also, when it comes to stories, uh, like I don't know, like not a lot of these stories actually hit me that hard, personal. I don't think they are bad. I don't think. And after the text you sent us, we are getting to that one. We are getting to that one. That that that's a different case. That one song is a different that one. Hit. Look, everything everything in this album. album is a hard hitter unless you have experienced quite some shit in your life like extreme level even then this is like very uh, yeah acha bol bhai bhai tu just bol ami ami just shuni okay so acha abar bol bol yeah okay uh, and besides all that let's get into taro because it my it's actually my favorite song because i really like the song it's actually and everyone's favorite song at this point yeah pretty much i think so uh i like that sound i like the drum i well kind of i like the drum i really like how the thing kind of builds up i like the story the lyrics the lyrics are basically about um two up uh, two photojournalists who who are a couple Uh, what time ekhane ekhane to cut in kori ekhane to cut in yeah. kori yeah taro is a completely dedicated song to robert kappa ekhane taro r kono kahini nai that is so objectively wrong na it's actually right because garda okay, taro right. dies in 1937 and robert Uh, and Robert Capa dies in 1940s. है तो दुजों एक साथे मारा जाए ना तो क्यों इसे तब तक And okay, this is like calm down. <coughs> Wahid, calm down. For fuck's sake, calm down. This is I how am... this is how Robert Capa dies. ठीक है सर अच्छा बोल भाई आमी आमी आउट दिस इज दिस इज दिस इज द होल स्टोरी इज अबाउट हाउ रॉबर्ट कैपा डाइज विद सब्जेक्ट टू हाउ ही गेट्स यूनाइटेड विद टैरो हु डाइड अर्लियर ही आर बेसिकली दैट इट्स इट्स अबाउट दैट या ही आई इट्स अ लाइक द वे द स्टोरी इज टोल्ड इज एक्चुअली रियली यू नो व्हाट द वर्ड लाइक अम enjoyable let's just go with that it's enjoyable like the description of the uh like the area that the incident that kappa finds himself in what actually happens like the lyrics talk about a very yellow white flash a violent wrench grips mass etc etc rips like tears links like rags really vivid imagery that kind of puts you into Makes that so imagine the scenes yeah exactly puts you into uh, into that mindset of like what it would actually be like and all this like all this violent stuff happens over a uh, uh, instrumental that is really kind of forming something just to balance everything out and it creates uh, like it's relaxing to listen to but if you want to think about it you can really think about it so it's kind of It can be listened to any time you really want to. Also, Nabi, you really should tell that story that that thing has happened with Taro. You know, uh, Taro Garda Taro died in nineteen. 19- no, 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 not that one. I'm talking about the one where you listen to the song one day in the morning and then. Ah uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently. <laughs> Uh, there's this weird thing. I'm I'm like just connecting dots in a really stupid manner that will just piss off Wahid even more than he is yeah. right now. To a point, he would just I can sense yo. I hope like it a bowler poor. Oh, how to bash at the bear? I'm gonna bash the ash to party. But I'm gonna take the risk. So the thing is, if I listen to this song three times uh, on repeat. Something bad happens. Someone dies. Okay. Let me be more specific. One day he listened 
to this song three times in the morning and then in the evening there was a terrorist attack in our country oita ekta chilo oita that was like completely unrelated like acha acha ami ekta kotha bolbo eta na shun shun aro tin bar je shunchi literally that evening amar khobor asche the some of my relatives acha ebar ami bolbi every time a uh, an import every time a person has died i have brushed my teeth in the, teeth in the morning tar mane ki ekhon brush kora thamai je na but this is out of the norm like at the sita sabita gaan to protidin shuni ekhon etar sathe ei sob specifically gaan to sathe ei sob kichu na na kotha holo kotha holo ek din intentionally ami ta shunchi tin bar tana and literally eta hoyse acha thik ache so ebar that's where i have what song is about Yeah you can say the n word but you cannot say the r word acha ar jehetu ashol story ta bola hoyteche na garda taro was born in 1910 thik ache in 19th mane she was born in mane nazi germany basically she was a jew in nazi germany thik ache hmm and not just that a jewish war photographer Now she became a war photographer after she met she met Kappa. That age she was just an activist, which is which is one. The fact that she became a photographer contributes greatly to Kappa's guilt about her death, because he thought he was responsible for bringing her into this world of war photography, which ultimately en- ended up killing her. Okay, sir. And she died in 1937, I think. Uh, in the Spanish Civil War, huh? mm-hmm. Spanish Civil War er chobi tulte gya mara ke silo. And and yeah, yeah. and, and, Ka- and Kappa dies in World War Two, 1954. Onak pore. For 17 years, he carried the psychological guilt of having killed the one person he loved. Yeah, that's the song. The song is about Kappa's last moments. about what i imagine is how he would address taro as he laid dying yeah it is insensitive um what do you think of the the chorus what do you think it's talking about what chorus there are many choruses in this song there I is only those. one but anyway uh, do not spray into eyes i have sprayed it into, into my eyes, eyes. like i think that's the conflict in our conflict of kappa talking oh je the fact that spraying into eyes man photography type er oh je i think this is a very noob interpretation thik ache je he is actually it it to interpret korche so je o last er dige ja jinish tar e je like o je ni asche taro re je kappa ni asche ei world e ei jinish tar acceptance is different to man the thing is taro man kappa is asking taro to not get involved while man while he involves himself that's the contradiction eh yeah. hmm. do not spray in the eyes the last day ja accept kore when he is in his death he is not he never gets the chance to be in his death bed because he steps on a landmine yeah that's how he dies because I like old I moment at the yeah. new table to yeah, he dies in, in pieces. pieces he doesn't rest dies in pieces. pieces 
Uh, that's TV. Now that's TV. Uh, anyway, I had a like I'm looking at genius right now, and uh, I had a really different way of looking at this uh, at this two lines because the way I looked at it was that in this two lines uh, the character like um, is talking to the actually the listener you know do not spray into eyes uh, do not cry I have sprayed you into my eyes uh, the next line is like we actually have the this does not actually match now that I'm looking at it but I always felt like I always interpreted this like uh, this line like this that um, I have spread you into my eyes that is to say their photos are still around the photos they, they took and we can still see them we can still see their work and their story so, respectfully disagree hmm? Respectfully disagree. Sure. Why? Kappa has no reason to address the audience. He, is, he has all the reason to address Taro. The song is named not, Taro. Not, this, not, is all not, about, this is not, not Kappa exactly. Like These two lines I am not exactly... I know I said just a second ago that I think Kappa is saying no. I did not mean that. But the band, the actual singers, mm. I think that's what they are trying to say with these two lines. I always felt like that. Achha, since that is subjective, I can't really say that's wrong. Mm, okay. mm, so, respectfully disagree. I, I think this is about... Uh, yeah, Kappa, it, is, it Kappa, is of course about Taro. I think this is about Kappa saying, contradicting himself. Because at the same time, like, he asks Taro not to be, not to get involved with him uh, while he is completely uh, drowning himself in getting involved with her. He is absolutely, he is absolutely taken over by his emotions for Taro. He, 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 he do anything for Taro. But he's also asking Taro not to do shit for him because he feels responsible for having yeah. introduced her to wartime photography and her death. Hmm. That's that's what I think. That's मतलब कोई नो मैं यहाँ में जाने ना ऐसा ना नो नो बार इतना इतना नहीं नो वर्ड का यूज़ करें इसमें because like there's no इस अपेक्षा से we all differ in opinion. the whole song is not exactly this is not uh, i'm not really you know trying to argue your interpretation but i'm just pointing this out that the song isn't really from the point of kappa's view on the time so it's that a third person perspective like it, yeah. it goes over it goes over kappa's death so ekhane ekhane daratara so ekta kotha bolte chai this is like this is kappa's story for that That makes sense. I think. Sort of. I think the most beautiful part comes. Our perspective. Like this is Kappa okay. story for Taro. I think the most beautiful point comes in the uh, second verse before the last chorus, where uh, it says, "To Kappa Kappa dark after nothing, reunited with his lake," and then the chorus starts changing the words, Dude. and with you, Taro. Your Indian accent just made it weird. Okay, sorry I'm about sorry. that. Yeah, sorry about it. <laughs> I can't help my accent, okay? Achha, no, 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 I'm not saying, I'm just, I'm just yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I'm always going to make fun of it. No. Uh, yeah, just, uh, I'm just I know, sure. I know. And I'm always going to take a hit to my confidence every time I do it. And soon I'm going yes. to disappear into nothingness. Amen. 
Yeah, I'll pull you back up. Fair enough. Yes. Carry on. No, I, I think that was it. Dekho na bhi tumi je je manusher feeling re, eva be hard koro, eka thik na. Even though he is a German, one. German re, o je German empire the eta, one. He, you have no right to hurt his feelings like this. Thik asa. Hey man, I'm not disrespecting the fatherland. Even though he is a supporter of the Fourth Reich. Yes, sir. And we are back to Germany again. Actually, this is topical because, oh shit. Mm -hmm. okay. That arrow was a Jewish German. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why I like, uh, I'm just digging my own grave. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, that's pretty much it.